Hi guys, welcome back to my channel in-house Deva and today I created this beautiful look uh, just for you guys using the uh, Jivia's new the Nubian palette uh, which is two and I really really like this palette it has such uh, beautiful colors and um, like it has three four um, matte colors and then there are more shimmery colors and what I really like about these colors are they are really being used um, uh, and I, I think it's really nice and I can play with these colors and the price factor is really good too so this is what I really love about this palette and the uh, colors are highly pigmented and so if you want to look into this makeup look uh, keep on watching the video and I'm going to show you how I create this look so the first thing I'm going to use today is the Glam Glow Glow Starter and it's like an illuminating moisturizer and uh, it says that you can apply evenly on the face and wear, wear alone or uh, you can wear it with your favorite foundation. So I want to try this one. It's, in, it's actually a nude glow. So it looks something like this. And I can see there's a sheer glow on this one. So I'm going to use it on my face and see how does it look. I can also put it on my neck because as my neck is really deep, it smells really nice guys. It has a very, very nice fragrance and I know I have really bad spots today like I can see that before. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting acne, I'm not doing too much makeup and I'm cleaning all my brushes but whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it through. So uh, as you can see that I have used all the cream well, so I'm gonna take my uh, Anastasia Big Homemade and I'm gonna make my brows now so that my eyes are enhanced and they look more beautiful. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to conceal first and then put my foundation on my skin because I'm going to try something different and I did not want to put foundation first and then concealer. So today the concealer I'm going to use is the dark shape tape and I'm going to keep using the team on your drum call. Uh, like it's really really nice because it's absolutely full coverage and it's not a concealer but a foundation or as you can see it's a makeup cover but uh, I want to mix both and just see how does it work on my uh, eyelids because my, as you guys can see my eyelids are really dark so I'm going to use these two as my concealer so I'm going to take a little bit onto my hand and a really nice of uh, Dermacol uh, and yes guys, I've used the primer and the primer I've used is the Benefit Professional. I think it goes great with my uh, skin because I have really open pores near my nose. So. As you guys can see that um, I'm making my eyelids really concealed because I have to use my new palette. And um, I'm going to make a video soon saying what all should Canadians buy for Alta Beauty, which they don't get in Canada. So I recently visited uh, across the border and I bought so much stuff and I'm so excited. Uh, so this is like I concealed all over my eye. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the concealer all over the places I usually do, like my eyes, just to brighten my eyes. And I'm going to blend it with my beauty blender today. So I'm going to blend it right now. I think it's really your choice, guys, that if you want to conceal um, afterwards, like after putting foundation. I usually put after putting foundation, but today I'm trying to see what the difference is actually because I've seen a lot of makeup artists. Uh, some put concealer after and some put uh, really really after uh, they conceal first sorry and then they put the foundation so I just want to see uh, what works better for me I've never tried concealer concealing my face first and then my foundation but uh, I think it, I would easily know after I put because I think uh, the foundation is used really less if you put the concealer first because you tend to put more foundation all over your face foundation I'm using today is the Lars Sheer Glow and I'm in Strongly, Strongly and it's a really nice foundation. I mean, I have never ever seen a such sheer glow. Like, 
I, in terms of Makeup Forever and NARS, there's a really big competition and I really like both of them. Like I cannot avoid any of these. So I bought both of them and I really like it. So um, I really love the shade blue one. Let's see how does it work on my face today. So I'm going to take my beauty blender today. Hmm. I think not have a much difference. One, if I put concealer first and foundation, I think it's the equal amount I use for putting concealer first or foundation first. So I think it kind of does work both ways. I'm kind of okay with both, like if I have to put candy because it comes to foundation. But uh, let's see how does it work for a long period of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack my foundation with a uh, translucent powder and today I'm going to use the Tiffany's Place um, setting powder. I really took the Kalahari and I think it's perfect for my skin tone and um, this is really new for me too. I haven't used this brand but uh, I think it should be really good. I have seen so many videos and I'm so excited to use this one. So I'm going to take this one and put it under my eye. Oh, it's really dark. It's really yellow. I've always been using the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I don't know how would it work on my under eye. I think it's more of a yellow tone. I don't know if it would work for me or no, but I'm just trying. So just packing the under eye a little bit and the rest I'm going to do afterwards. So now we go onto our eyes first and I'm going to, do, going to do the rest of my makeup later. So the palette I'm going to use today is this beauty. I bought it from Alta Beauty and uh, it's called Nubian Juvia by Juvia's and it has such, this has such beautiful colors guys. I think it would really, really go with my dress, like especially three, they're like three map colors and a lot of shimmery colors. So the first one I'm going to take is Morocco and uh, let's see how I'm going to take my big beauty blender and it's from Luxie and it's the large eye blender and I'm going to take the Morocco one and just tap and see. It does have a good coverage. So what I usually do is, when I do one side, I do exactly the second side too. Just because it helps me to see the balance in the eyes. So so the next one I'm going to take is this uh, Jezebel. And I'm going to use this one onto my uh, corners. So I'm going to take a little bit and just make a V shape. I'm just trying to make a V and just back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it's pretty, pretty color. And I can see how pretty does it look onto my eye. But I really need to blend this one. And I really want, uh, I was really excited to use this eyeshadow palette and um, I think it's worth buying because uh, I see all the eyeshadows which we get from Sephora and stuff, they're pretty expensive and uh, this one was at a good price and the colors look highly pigmented. I mean, um, are really colorful and really pigmented. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the same in my inner corner. I'm going to leave the middle part of my eye. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the inner eye now with the same color. Like this. And 
I'm definitely going to leave the middle part of my eyelid so that I can fill in with some other color. Yes, I'm going off. I just put a line drag just to give that effect. So as you guys can see, this, this eye little thing has a little more white and this has become a little purpley. So I need to fix this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer and just conceal a little bit onto the middle part of my eye. And I'm going to add on another color on that. So as you guys can see that I've already uh, made a little bit purplish on the sides and my middle area is uh, literally clean. So uh, I'll show you how I do it. So I'm going to take a really little concealer and just cleaning the area in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Madagascar and just not too much, I'm going to take a little bit onto my and just tap it. Just try to blend in. look and uh, whatever sparkle I use after this I need to enhance my eyes so this is what I do is I can see a little bit blend some other color and just put the glitter on the top and give it with the eyeshadow so what I need to do now is I'm going to take this zuri color and just put it onto the inside of my eye which I colored as brown oh wow such a pretty color Oh my god, I dropped my beauty bender. This is a really intense and nice color and I'm really really loving it. I think it's really really good to have it on So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend all my eyeshadow into this so that it doesn't look any different and looks like a part of my eye. What I'm going to do is, as you guys can see, that this area is going to be left part. Uh, I need to blend these well too. So I'm going to blend everything now by taking my hand and blending the brush. The key is blending as you guys know. I'm going to take a little bit more of Roko and just blend it. I'm doing it in circular motion so that everything is blended in well. It does have a finger effect and I'm really liking it. I think this is one of the must buys if all Canadians going to US should buy this palette. And it's all pink promotion guys. I haven't reached that far but Beautiful, beautiful eye look is coming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit Nairobi, very little, just to put eye highlight onto my eye. Not too much because this is also a little spicy color. So the next I'm going to take my comb, this is the about the touch smooth, it's from Polygon and Wine and I'm going to make an eyeliner but I'm not going to use a fully uh, pencil but I'm just trying, trying to draw a little bit. So 
So what I'm doing is I'm trying to drop my eyeliner and then I would use a liquid eyeliner just to be them. And it's just a pencil one. Sometimes I just try to do um make my eyes a little, as you guys can see, I'm not used too much, but I'm using lens and I will complete it with my liner. So that's what I'm doing today. So the liner I'm using is the Fenty Beauty and uh, I would just mark the areas which are done. has a really nice swish to it and it's really smooth especially on the side So as you guys can see that my liner is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some mascara and put my lashes on and I'll show you how that's going to look. And after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my under eyes and let's see how it's going to look. The mascara I'm using is from Stella. So now as you guys can see that I've made my lashes and uh, they look really beautiful. I did not work my under waterline but I have to show you how I fill my um, waterline. So I'm going to go with the same for the one line cool liner. And I should have done it much before but uh, my bad. It's called a stack line. But yeah, I'm quite suffering now. But yeah. Uh, you usually do it before your eyes, it hurts a little bit under your eye but uh, so what I'm taking is my palette again and my pointed um, uh, brush it's like side pointing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, Jezebel, the same purplish tone and just work onto my under eye is I'm going to take my NYX a little purpley uh, eyeliner and I'm going to fill it with my other one line. Okay. Now I'm going to take my little mascara for my under eye. So I'm going to use this in lot it's in shade 113. It's a stick foundation, but I'm going to use it as my bronzer. So, I'm going to use it, put it all over my face. I think all the way to the temporary of that monster show. And I'm going to take my whole bronzer again and just pack my bronzer. I think that fish should never ever have to do in pouting because their face is already well powdered. And I think I'm loving this eyeshadow look. I'm going to take my Julia's and just lift them again and tap them again. I really need to do this. I don't know if it's for my skin or not. But it looks. So the next, uh, I'm going to take my blusher and the blusher I'm going to use is from Makeup Forever and uh, I'm going to just tap all over my cheekbones. It doesn't have like a really sheer glow but it's going to work for me. The Huda Beauty Illuminating Palette. I'm almost done with this one. Get shine too much bones. Really yes. nice. 
So the one I'm going to pick, my lip liner is from NYX and I absolutely love this one. It's in Nutmeg and it's SPL 811 and has such a pretty color. Like, I can use it every day. So it's what I really like about it. So I'm going to make Make sure not to get sharpened. And what I do is I put it from inside to uh, towards the top instead of from top to the uh, inner corner. So it's how I make my lips just to make them look, look more fuller. So the lipstick I'm going to use is from Sephora and uh, it's in the number is 2 and uh, it has a really really um, matte finish. It's not, it's not matte, sorry, it's green but it has a really really light uh, nude shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit in my uh, lips with this one and I want it. Mm. It does have a really really green tone. I think I'm kind of liking it because my eyes are really bright so I wanted to go with something lighter so um, I think I really like this lip color so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my hair and come back and show you what my other look is to take this shape a little bit I love this one so I really hope you guys liked this video and I'm sure I would post more photos and more videos uh, to show you how I create a different makeup looks uh, but for right now don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys really soon and you can uh, also comment or uh, you can write whatever you want to see in upcoming videos so I know that what, if I'm doing something good even if I if you think that I'm not doing good you can just tell me and um, I would work on it and uh, I will see you guys really soon bye